Welcome back. In this video, we're going to set up a very simple empty Unity project and we're going to install the Nakama package. To do that, we're going to open up our Unity hub, which you should have installed from a previous video, and we're going to create a brand new project. So click on the new button here. It doesn't matter what you choose for your template. I'm going to suggest that we stick to 3D. We're not going to be doing any graphics in this. We're just simply going to be connecting to Nakama and demonstrating some of the core concepts of the Nakama client. So let's give it a name. We're going to call it Nakama Demo. I'm going to choose a new location. So I'm going to put this in my game development folder with Unity. And I'm going to press Create. So this is going to take a while to obviously set up the package and the project. While that's doing that, we're going to open up a web browser. And I want you to head over to github.com forward slash heroic labs forward slash Nakama dash Unity. This will take you to the Nakama Unity SDK page, and it's got some documentation here on how you can get started. So there's two ways to install the Nakama SDK for Unity. The first way is you can either download the Unity package file or the tar file from the releases page here. Or alternatively, if you are using Unity 2019.4, which we are, then you can add this to the project's package manifest file. To do that, we're going to copy this line here. And it says we need to add this to our manifest.json file. Let's just see if Unity is ready with the project. And it is. So we've got our empty Unity project open here. I'm going to come down to our file browser here and right click and press show in Explorer. That's going to open my Explorer here. And inside here, I'm going to go to the packages folder. And you'll see now that we have a manifest.json file. I'm going to right click on this and open it with Visual Studio Code. If you don't have Visual Studio Code installed, you can use any simple text editor such as Notepad. However, I'm going to open this with Visual Studio Code. And you'll see here that this is basically a list of all the packages that we are using in this project. Now, all of these currently are just Unity projects. You can see this because it says com.unity. And then whatever the name of the module is, we're going to add a new one to the bottom of this list. So let's make sure we add a comma to the end of this one to specify where going to be adding a new item. Let's come down to the next line and we're going to paste in that line that we copied from the SDK getting started section. You can see here that it says com.heroiclabs.nakamaunity. So we want to use the Nakama Unity package. And this is the GitHub location of that package. Now here we have commit pipe tag. We're going to get rid of that. And what we need to do is after this hash symbol, we need to specify the version of the Nakama package that we would like to use in our project. So to find that out, we're going to go back to our browser. Let's scroll up and on the GitHub page here where it says master, we have a little drop down icon. Let's click on that and go to tags. And you can see here that these are all of the released versions of the Nakama SDK for Unity. We're going to use the latest one, which is V 2.8.0. So let's go back to our manifest JSON file. And just after the hash symbol here, we're going to enter V 2.8.0 and save that file. Now let's head back to Unity and you can see here that the package manager has kicked into action and it's now importing the Nakama Unity project. Let's open up our packages on the left hand side and you should hopefully now see the Nakama Unity package. Now this has documentation and all of the code that's going to allow us to connect to a Nakama server from our Unity project. If you can see that and that's all installed correctly, then you're ready to move on to the next video.